Hey everyone, I am Bianca. Today I'm going to show you some Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs. And I think you're going to like today's video because I'm doing a collab with Elena Jenkins DIY. So she's doing some DIYs as well. Go check out her video. It's going to be linked below. And let's get started. So for the first DIY, I'm using a piece of foam board. I'm going to make a sign out of this. And I'm also going to be using this cocoa liner from Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do with this is just cut it in half. And we're going to use it on the piece of foam board. I'm going to use my L ruler to help me cut out a nice rectangular piece. So I'm going to mark it with my pencil and then we'll use a box cutter to cut it out. The easiest way for me to cut a piece of foam board is by using a box cutter like I mentioned but and oh by the way I am using like a I don't know a safety type of box cutter because once you use it and then you lift up the blade will go back in so I have to hold it in place with my thumb. The easiest way to do it is to lightly score it and then once I do that then I will go all the way through with the blade and it comes out looking better. Have y'all ever tried using scissors with foam board or tried cutting out a piece of scissors? No, it is going to be bad if you try to do it. I've been using foam board for a while and yeah, if you use scissors, it'll come out looking crazy. So as you can see, once I do cut through, I do have to kind of use my sanding block just a little bit on the side very carefully and lightly because you don't want to mess up the siding of all the, of the foam board. And part of crafting is messing up and I still mess up a lot even though I've been crafting for a long time and then you know I've been on YouTube for about three years but the good thing is if I mess up then I can tell y'all on here and then you can not mess up. <laughs> so I decided to go out of my comfort zone a little and use navy blue. I saw some farmhouse decor signs on Pinterest and I wanted to give it a try so what I decided to do was start off by using a sponge brush, which doesn't look like it would be too good of an idea the way it's painting on the foam board. I don't know why I kept going with it, but either way, I do cover up the whole thing with it. And then I decided to add, I was just going to leave it like this with that simple blue color, but I wanted it to look, I don't know, I was going for like a blue grayish color. So then I do end up using a gray on top of it and you'll see that in a second. And I also switch brushes. So I do end up switching to a bristled brush which was a little easier to, well way easier to work with. Not that bad but trust me it gets way better once I paint the top of it with that gray. But now what I'm going to do is take my Dollar Tree skewers. If you are lucky enough to find it, pick a pack up because I love them. They're really, really long. I think last time I measured them, they're about three feet long. They're pretty long and I love using them for signs. So I'm going to use this as the border of my sign. It fits perfectly on the outside of a piece of foam board. The width of the skewer and the foam board are about the same. So it fits perfectly on the side. So what I'm going to do is mix both of these colors up. They're both chalk paint from Waverly. I find them at Walmart. I wasn't trying to do hazelnut because it was a little bit too dark for me. I wanted to go in between these two colors so I'm going to mix them up and then I'm going to paint the uh, skewers. Remember to go show some love to Elena Jenkins, my friend I'm doing this collab with. Her video is going to be linked below so y'all can go over there and show her some love and let her know that I sent you over in the comment section. And also if you're coming over here from her channel, 
Wow, I'm so appreciative. Thank you so, so much. Hopefully you like my videos enough to subscribe. So I kind of experimented a little bit off camera with my bristled brush and gray paint. I am going to finish that up on the top. So trust me, it's going to look better once it's done. I'm sure you see, you've see seen the little thumbnail from by clicking on my video. So you must like it a little bit. But yes, it's going to look better. Don't worry. Um, we're all, you know, still trying to figure out how to use this foam board. Definitely way easier to use a bristled brush. So do that first instead of the sponge brush. Now I'm going to take my skewer once that's finished painting, place it on the side. I'm going to mark it with my pencil and then we're going to cut it with my stem cutters and then I can glue the skewer right there on the side. To attach the cocoa liner to the sign, I am going to place it where I think I want it to go and then I'll get my ruler out and I'm going to mark two dots on each side of the cocoa liner and I'm going to poke two holes with my pencil and I'll show you that in a second. And then once I do that, we're going to add either some twine or whatever you have on hand, a piece of string, anything you want to attach the cocoa liner to the sign. So now I took a piece of the skewer at the end, it has that little pointy end and it was easily inserted on the side of the cocoa liner just to make a hole. That way I can attach, like I said, whatever you have on hand, piece of twine. I'm using this piece of floral wire and I'm sorry if you hear that alarm in the background, it's early in the morning and my freshman daughter <laughs> keeps pushing snooze. Okay, so I'm going to take this floral wire, put it through the cocoa liner and also through the foam board. So I'm going to attach both sides like that. I didn't twist the back of the floral wire on the left side too tight yet so I can get the right side done and see how it looks and then once I like it then I will go ahead and Twist it as many times as you want, the floral wire if you decide to use that. And then once you twist it enough, you can just cut the ends, the excess off. So to secure the bottom of the cocoa liner, what I'm going to do is take some Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom. So I'll add hot glue to the foam board part of it and also the cocoa liner so it is glued down and the bottom is secured. Then I'll cut the end of the nautical rope off and then I'll add some hot glue to the end of that rope that way it doesn't fray out.
And then I added a decal at the bottom that says gather. If you want to use that, that is linked below. And last but not least, I used greenery inside of the Coco liner. And this greenery is from Walmart. They were a dollar each. This sign weighs almost nothing, so it's very easy to hang up. And what I like to use to hang up anything, even things that are heavy, is command strips. Those are perfect not to make holes in your wall and they work really well. So for the next DIY, I found another DIY to do with the little cathedral decor pieces from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is add something to the center because there was like a little sign there and I removed it because I thought I was going to use this for a different DIY. Now this little sign is from my last video I did. I had those little wood signs and this little sign came in the center of that. I took it off and I saved it. So I'm going to add that to the middle. And now I'm going to take a recycled Dollar Tree crate that I already had and I'm going to go ahead and paint it one solid color because as you can see it's kind of distressed. I would leave it like that. I kind of like the way it looks but I want it to be a solid color. So just like my first DIY when I painted the skewers, I mixed the hazelnut and chestnut together. I'm going to do the same thing to give me a real pretty creamy color and I'm going to add it or paint the whole crate with it. To connect the two together, I'm going to take a Dollar Tree craft stick, I'm going to add hot glue to it, and I'm going to connect these two and add it to the back of it, right on the crease of the cathedral decor piece and the crate. To add more security to this, if you're going to hang it up on the wall, I'm going to take a little wooden dowel and I painted it the same color as the crate. I'm going to add hot glue and I'm going to put it in the crease at the front of this where the cathedral and the crate meet, just like I did in the back. I have been having these Dollar Tree cotton stems sitting in my craft closet for a really long time because I haven't really been doing farmhouse DIYs. So I kind of forgot about them and then I saw them and I was like, okay, this is perfect to go inside of the crate. So I'm just going to remove them, not remove them from the stem, but I'm going to cut off the long stem because they do have really long stems and I'm going to just set them in there. And you can hang this up if you want. I'm not going to because I decided to keep it sitting on this little shelf that I have. But you totally can. It will stay um, secured with the hot glue because we added the down the front and the craft stick in the back. And then if you just add flowers inside, it, it will be totally fine and will not fall. So for the next DIY, I am using a burner cover from Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack. This is the smaller one, so you can use either or. And what I'm gonna do is just wipe it really good so I can paint the sides. And I'm using the same two colors mixed as I've been doing throughout the video. And I'm just painting the sides on the inside of the burner cover and then the side on the outside of the burner cover. And I got the inspiration for this tray from the Target Dollar Spot.
To kind of give me that same look as the inside of the tray, I'm using some Dollar Tree crab sticks and I'm gonna line up crab sticks like this. The top and bottoms of the crab sticks are already cut off because I did that for a previous uh, video. I'm gonna line them up and then after I add these, I'm going to line some up going the opposite way. And I'm just trying to get that top row as straight as possible so you can't see too many empty spaces. Once I traced the tray out on top of the crab sticks, now I'm going to cut them out. And all you have to do is go on the inside of the pencil line so that way it fits inside of the burner cover. Now I'm going to set them inside of the tray and then we will hot glue them all down. Once I have all of the craft sticks hot glued on there really well, I'm going to add some faux handles. You're not really going to actually use them for handles, it's just to give it a nice last touch to the tray. So I'm taking a Dollar Tree hat, or it used to be a hat, and I just rip one of the pieces off of that. I'm gonna cut off a piece and hot glue them to one to each side. Very simple DIY. I am using these little wood pieces from Dollar Tree. I believe they came in a six pack. So what I'm gonna do is paint them with this country gray from Apple Barrel. So after sanding down those pieces really well, I'm going to grab my Dollar Tree wooden dowels and I'm going to spell out home on these little wooden pieces. So it's real easy. I'm just taking my stem cutters and I'm going to make the H first, which is 
pretty easy and you just have to check to see about how big you want the letters so that's up to you you know and then just kind of score it all along and then it'll pop right off and then once I'm done with that I'm just gonna sand down the dowels well so that way they're straight and they're not um, jagged at the end so I don't get cut either After I sanded those down really well, now I'm just going to hot glue them down. Thank you so much for watching today's video and remember to go check out Elena Jenkins DIY video. Hers is in the description box below.